In the intricate landscape of international finance, the European Union EU, Anti-Money Laundering AML, directives stand as formidable guardians, ensuring the integrity of financial systems across member states. This video embarks on a comprehensive journey to unravel the creation, objectives, key provisions, and individual implications of the EU anti-money laundering directives, shedding light on their pivotal role in safeguarding financial security. Creation and Background The roots of the EU anti-money laundering directives delve into the historical context of evolving financial threats. As financial crimes and terrorist financing became increasingly sophisticated, the need for a coordinated and harmonized response within the EU emerged. The directives evolved as a strategic response to this imperative, reflecting the commitment of EU member states to combating illicit financial activities. In the aftermath of significant financial scandals and the realization of the potential repercussions of money laundering and terrorist financing, the EU recognized the necessity for a unified approach. The journey toward the creation of the anti-money laundering directives involved navigating through a complex web of challenges, legal considerations, and the delicate balance between security and individual liberties. Objectives and Intent At its core, the EU anti-money laundering directive set out to address the twin challenges of money laundering and terrorist financing. The primary focus is on enhancing cooperation among EU member states, fostering a united front against financial crimes. The intent is clear, to establish a robust regulatory framework that not only harmonizes anti-money laundering efforts but also strengthens the collective ability to combat emerging threats. The objectives extend beyond national borders, emphasizing the interconnectedness of financial systems and the importance of collaborative efforts. By fostering a harmonized approach, the EU aims to create an environment where financial crimes find it difficult to thrive, promoting the stability and integrity of the broader European financial landscape. Key Provisions of EU Anti-Money Laundering Directives The directives are characterized by a harmonization of AML-CFT, counterfinancing of terrorism, regulations across EU member states. This harmonization serves a dual purpose, standardizing regulations to ensure consistency in combating money laundering and providing a unified front against financial crimes. Harmonization is not merely a bureaucratic exercise but a strategic move to close gaps that could be exploited by criminals seeking to launder money or finance terrorism across borders. It aligns the regulatory landscape, creating a more challenging environment for illicit financial activities to navigate. The establishment of Customer Due Diligence CDD, requirements is a cornerstone of the directives, outlining procedures for customer identification and verification. These measures aim to strengthen financial institutions' ability to know their customers and mitigate associated risks. By implementing robust CDD practices, the directives intend to create a more transparent and accountable financial system. How EU Anti-Money Laundering Directives Help Individuals Beyond the regulatory framework, the EU anti-money laundering directives play a crucial role in ensuring the financial security of individuals. By protecting against the consequences of money laundering, the directives act as a shield for everyday citizens. They safeguard the integrity of the financial system, creating an environment where financial transactions are transparent, accountable, and resistant to illicit activities. Individuals are not passive recipients of these protections but active participants in a collective effort to fortify the financial landscape. As the directives contribute to the stability of financial institutions and the broader financial system, individuals experience the positive ripple effects in the form of secure transactions, protected financial assets, and increased confidence in the financial system. In addition to financial security, the EU anti-money laundering directives enhance consumer protections by establishing rights and safeguards for financial services consumers. These protections contribute to fair and transparent practices in financial transactions, ensuring that individuals have a voice and recourse in the face of potential financial misconduct. Why individuals need to know about EU anti-money laundering directives? Understanding the EU anti-money laundering directives is not a matter reserved for policymakers alone, it has profound implications for individuals. On a personal level, the directives impact financial well-being by influencing individual transactions and account activities. Being aware of these implications is crucial for navigating the financial landscape effectively. 
Individuals often engage in financial transactions without delving into the complexities of the regulatory frameworks that underpin these activities. However, a basic understanding of the EU anti-money laundering directives empowers individuals to make informed financial decisions, secure in the knowledge that these decisions are made within a framework designed to protect them. Moreover, compliance with the AML-CFD regulations becomes an individual responsibility, contributing to the collective effort to maintain a secure financial environment. When individuals actively participate in upholding these regulations, they become integral components of the broader strategy to combat money laundering and terrorist financing. Challenges and Criticisms While the EU anti-money laundering directives represent a commendable effort, challenges persist. Implementation across member states faces variances, creating a landscape where uniformity is a perpetual goal. The intricacies of legal systems, cultural differences, and varying levels of financial sophistication among member states contribute to the ongoing challenge of achieving seamless harmonization. The commitment to uniformity is crucial to closing potential loopholes that might be exploited by those seeking to engage in illicit financial activities. Additionally, evaluating the effectiveness of the directives and addressing emerging financial threats require continuous adjustments. The financial landscape is dynamic, and criminals are quick to adapt to new regulatory environments. Therefore, the EU must remain agile, regularly reassessing the directive's impact, and making necessary amendments to ensure their continued relevance and effectiveness. The directives face criticisms, reflecting the broader debate on the balance between regulatory effectiveness and individual liberties. Critics often raise concerns about potential encroachments on privacy rights and the extent to which these regulations may infringe on individual freedoms. Striking the right balance between security imperatives and protecting civil liberties is an ongoing challenge that necessitates careful consideration and ongoing dialogue within the EU. Conclusion In conclusion, the EU anti-money laundering directives emerge as crucial players in the realm of financial security, demonstrating the commitment of EU member states to combating money laundering and terrorist financing. Their creation, objectives, and key provisions reflect the collective determination to fortify the financial landscape against illicit activities. Understanding the EU anti-money laundering directives is not just an academic exercise, it is a call to action for every citizen. It is a recognition that financial security is not a passive state but an active effort that requires collective awareness and engagement. The directives signify not only a regulatory framework but a commitment to the principles that define a democratic and secure financial system within the European Union. As we navigate the complexities of international finance, the EU anti-money laundering directives serve as beacons, guiding us towards a future where financial security is a shared responsibility upheld by regulators and individuals alike. The challenges they face are opportunities for refinement, ensuring that these directives evolve alongside the ever-changing landscape of financial threats. For individuals, the directives offer more than just regulatory compliance, they offer a framework that promotes financial stability, transparency, and accountability. By understanding and actively participating in the goals of the directives, individuals contribute to the broader narrative of creating a secure financial environment. In the grand tapestry of financial systems, the EU anti-money laundering directives are threads that weave together the interests of nations and individuals. Through cooperation, harmonization, and continuous evaluation, these directives stand as a testament to the EU's commitment to financial integrity. As we move forward, let us embrace the responsibility of understanding, engaging with, and contributing to the ongoing story of financial security within the European Union.